This guy is beyond horrible. And tonight, William Blankenship is behind bars, labeled a serial rapist and charged in 20-year-old sex crimes. And if he's convicted, he will spend the rest of his life in jail. The crimes happened in the Mount Washington Anderson Township areas on this map. A woman raped in July of 99, a 10-year-old two years later. And in October 2001, a 15-year-old pulled from her bedroom and raped behind her home. This neighbor still remembers the shock and alarm. Oh, to have any kind of violent crime, it was just really unthinkable. She had cried out for help, uh, but nobody heard her at that point, so she was just sort of trying to survive. Investigators say Blankenship left his DNA behind. Scientists at Parabon used it to crack the case. The power of genetic genealogy is the ability to narrow down the potential pool of suspects. The chief genetic genealogist explains how the technology sorts through online genetic testing sites, GEDmatch and Family Tree DNA, to find familial matches to crime scene DNA. The easiest way to say it is that we are reverse engineering the family tree of the suspect based on his DNA alone and who he's sharing DNA with. The match, described as a highly scientific tip, is given to police. The process can take hours or years. They embraced this technology, they never gave up, and they really worked hard to try to get justice for these victims. Neighbors like Wendy comforted the cold cases were never forgotten. It's wonderful to know that there's, there's still, 20 years later, still pursuing it. Now, investigators believe that Blankenship has lived in the greater Cincinnati area this entire time. They also think there could be more victims out there, and they are urging departments, especially in northern Kentucky, to take another look at their cold cases and see if the DNA is a match. Reporting live downtown tonight, Jatara McGee, WLWT News 5.